Thank you uh, to Chairman Miller and thank you to his committee for bringing us here today for H.R. 5166. I want to talk about Carl, an Army veteran from Springfield, Illinois, who couldn't get a response from the VA to receive a cancer treatment through the VA Choice Program. After multiple communications, my office was finally able to get the authorization from the VA. Betty from Staunton, Illinois, the wife of a decorated Vietnam vet who served his country for more than a decade, waited over a year for an answer from the VA about benefits owed to her late husband. Finally, my office was successful in getting Betty, who was experiencing financial difficulty at the time, the accrued benefits owed to her husband. Kenneth of Urbana, Illinois, Bronze Star recipient while serving in Kuwait, Iraq, and Afghanistan, was denied benefits due to a missing doctor's examination because he was deployed at the time and the VA never rescheduled the appointment. He contacted my office and we worked with the VA to ensure that the benefits were received. Lawrence of Palmer, Illinois, another Bronze Star recipient, a Purple Heart recipient, simply wanted a copy of his medical records but never heard back from the VA. After several months, he reached out to our office, and we were able to get them from the VA. Another constituent of mine recently asked my office for help after her husband, her husband, who was a veteran, passed away. She'd been waiting for six months for an answer from the VA, and now my office continues to wait for a response from the VA. These examples not only show the sometimes incompetence and unresponsiveness of certain personnel at the VA, but they also show how important congressional offices are to getting answers our veterans need and deserve. Many times when a veteran contacts their member of Congress for help, it's their last resort. It's not their first call. They don't know where else to turn. Our caseworkers become the middleman between the veteran and the VA. VA casework in my office remains highest in volume. We currently have over 96 open cases and we've closed nearly 1,000 in the four years that I've been in office. And ask almost any caseworker, they will tell you the VA is one of the most difficult agencies to get a response from. It's unacceptable that it takes this long. And this is why the Wingman Act, H.R. 5166, needs to be passed. It simply allows our certified constituent caseworkers, our advocates, to access certain VA files in order to check the status and progress of claims. This is, new, this is technology used to help our veterans get answers they deserve. It's not going to solve the systemic problems we see at the VA, but it's going to help us hold the VA accountable and get answers for the veterans who we are honored to represent. I want to thank my colleague, Representative Yoho, for working with me and many others on this important piece of legislation. And, Mr. Speaker, I want to thank Chairman Miller. Uh, not only for his help on this, but for his service to this great institution. Somebody who has put our veterans first as chairman of the Veterans Affairs Committee, but somebody who has spent his career making sure that common sense proposals like this get enacted so that our veterans, those who he cares about the most and we care about the most, get the answers and the responses they deserve. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back the balance of my time.